So question number 10, uh, answer is correct. Uh, working is not clear. So let's do it right now. A, B, C, D uh, went to a restaurant for dinner. A paid half of the bill. So make sure you write a statement. Okay, let us write here. What will be the first statement? Can you tell me? Uh, fraction of the bill paid by uh, A. Yeah, fraction of the bill paid by A equals to yes. half. Is this thing clear? Yeah. After that, next statement. Fraction of the bill paid by B. Of the bill paid by B. So, how much he has paid? One fifth. One fifth of the bill. And rest yes. of the bill was shared equally by C, D, and E. So, that means rest of the bill. So, let us find. Do you know how much was the bill? Uh, no. In fraction, what is the whole? Uh, one. Very good. So, you know what is the bill? That was only one. Okay. Yes. So, let us find total fraction of the bill paid by A and B. Is this thing clear? Yes. Can you tell me what was the fraction of the bill which was paid by A and B? I, uh, one, uh, seven upon ten. Very good. So you took the LCM. So it was seven yeah. upon ten. I guess this calculation was easy. Okay. Now remaining. As you said, the whole quantity is 1. So 1 minus 7 upon 10. Is this thing clear? Yes. So what is the remaining bill? One, uh, it remains 1 minus 7 upon 10. So that means uh, 3 upon 10 is left. Very good. So 3 upon 10 is remaining. Now, uh, if you don't know how, like 3 upon 10 is like 10, 1 can be written as 10 upon 10, 10 minus 7, 3 upon 10. The remaining bill is 3 upon 10. Now, luckily, there are only three people. So each will pay equally. So let me just do it. So that means uh, that will be 3 upon 10 divided by 3. Is this thing clear? Yes. So 3 upon 10 multiply. There was a denominator was 1. So 1 upon 3 cancelled out. 1 upon 10. So therefore, each will pay 1 tenth of the bill, which you have already calculated. But make sure you write these statements because yes. the question was asking in fraction okay so that's why our answer is coming in fraction just copy this thing 